villain henchman relationship is the ultimate dysfunctional family, you know, because I don't think they care about their henchmen at all. I don't think, you know, I don't think they know their names. It's a means to an end. The villains are always surrounded by kind of incompetent flunkies and toads or guys with names on their shirts or matching hats or something like that. I don't know if it works that way out of convenience or the villain's so crazy you can't get anyone else to kind of go along with his plans. Most henchmen tend to be cannon fodder. When I was writing Batman, I noticed that, you know, all the villains always had henchmen because you needed more bodies for the hero to hit. Why would you want to be a henchman? It's, it's got to be the worst job in the DC universe.